Greetings. Welcome to the news channel. The people's channel. In this report, we have a few stories for talk about, including a breaking news. And this just in. Mother and daughter found drop out in runaway bay St. Anne. Man gone down in Clarendon was accused of taking it from little Pickney. Jamaican man confesses to taking out his ex-partner in Antigua. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So people, we'll start off with the breaking news coming out of St. Anne Runaway Pier, where a mother and daughter was found dropped out in her house. A mother believed to be in her 20s and her daughter believed to be under the age of 10 were found burnt and dropped out in her house in Cardiff Hall Runaway Pier St. Anne earlier today. According to the police, the incident took place sometime after 12 p.m. However, the names are being withheld as relatives are yet to be properly informed. Very sad, sad story, people. Now, this is just a breaking news, people, so we have to wait until the police give we an update as to what caused this dropout. If it's a normal house fire, or uh, the house was set on fire. Now, people, we'll move on to Clarendon, where a man who was gone down was accused of taking it from Little Pickney. A 41 year old man who was accused of having it with minor was fatally shot while at his house in Raymond's district, he is in Clarendon last night. According to police source, Sian Juba Copeland had just arrived home and went to the back of his house to fetch water when neighbors heard what they believed to be gunshots. They summoned the police. Lawmen arrived to find Copeland and his back in a pool of red water with gunshot wounds to his head and upper body. The incident occurred about 10.45 p.m. Police source told the news media that preliminary investigation have shown that a report was made against Copeland earlier this month in a case of alleged wallet and ticket with person under the age of 16. It is alleged that his sexual activity with the liquor ones began last October. Investigation into the dropout are ongoing. Now, people, we'll switch it now and go overseas in Antigua, where a Jamaican man confesses now to taking out his ex-partner and injuring her son. Jamaican citizen, 54-year-old Linsom Boyd, last Friday confessed to brutally taking out his ex-partner and wounding her son with the intention to take him out in a courtroom in Antigua and Barbuda. Boyd was previously charged in June 2021 with the dropout of passport division worker 47-year-old Altia Henry and severely injured her son Tamanja Francis who was 21 at the time, Henry Body was discovered at her Cashew Hill home on the afternoon of 20th of June 2021 with what appeared to be multiple wounds. Her son was rushed to the hospice with injuries to his upper body and left eye, allegedly receiving during an altercation with the accused. The prosecution had mounted several pieces of evidence and had had a list of more than 10 witnesses it could call, but the accused pleaded guilty 
thereby saving the crown some time. The judge will proceed to sentence Boyd sometime after a social inquiry report is provided on March 16. So there you have it, people. Breaking news coming out of Senton, where a mother and her young daughter was found dropped out in a house that was burned down. Please leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.